This is Electric Universe Eyes, and today I'm going to narrate The Great Comet Venus by David Talbot, 1997, section titled Quetzalcoatl. In the popular Aztec myth of Quetzalcoatl, the Venus comet anomaly grows by leaps and bounds, and in this case, the completeness of the cometary motifs leaves no room for ad hoc explanations. Whether remembered by the Aztecs as a former great king and founder of the Golden Age, or a former sun god ruling a primordial epoch. Quetzalcoatl was a cultural hero without equal in the Aztec pantheon, his countenance adorning temple walls and the stucco bases of pyramids painted on countless frescoes and codices, and engraved on sarcophagi and monoliths strewn across Mexico. The climactic event in the Quetzalcoatl myth is the god's catastrophic death and transformation into an overwhelming disaster, an event endlessly repeated in sacrificial rites and supplying the cornerstone of Aztec calendar rituals and astronomical symbolism. In a pervasive version of the myth, at the death of Quetzalcoatl, the god's heart or soul rose in the sky as a great spark or ember, trailing smoke and fire, a star whose fiery train the Aztecs portrayed as the streaming tail of a Quetzal bird. Was this flaming star a comet? One notes that the Quiche Maya called a comet Uje Chumil, tail of the star, and the Aztec artists often drew comets as stars with Quetzal tails, the bright and luminous plumes of the Quetzal providing a particularly well-suited hieroglyph for a comet. The symbolism accords well with that of other peoples. The Pawnee gave to the comet the name Piricus Kuka, feathered headdress, an appellation that proves telling. See later discussion of the plumed headdress in our next installment. In Africa, the streaming comet's tail was identified as the feathers of the night jar, and the natives say of a comet, it is wearing streaming feathers. Astronomer Carl Sagan, in his review of worldwide comet motifs, notes that comets are called tail stars, and stars with long feathers. Germanic races called a comet the peacock's tail, while in China, a comet was seen as both a peacock's tail and a pheasant's tail. That Quetzalcoatl's flaming or plumed heart soul meant a comet-like star is substantiated by converging lines of evidence. Its cometary character, for example, would agree with the general tradition among the Aztecs that comets were the ascending souls of great chiefs. That Quetzalcoatl was the model of the good king gives perfect sense to the symbolic motif. But Quetzalcoatl was also the prototype of the Aztec shaman, that is, he was the celestial figure whose biography provided the general myth and symbolism of the shaman. It is thus worth noting that in South American lore, the soul of a shaman was believed to depart in the form of a comet. Noteworthy as well is the fact that a comet appearing sometime prior to the conquest of the Aztecs by Cortes was reckoned as a positive sign that Quetzalcoatl would eventually return to Mexico. To suggest that the heart soul of Quetzalcoatl rose as a comet is simply to place the Aztec symbolism alongside a universal tradition. Cultures around the world proclaim the comet to be the soul of a dying king. Thus, we have listed this significant theme as number one in our short list of comet symbols above. But there is a problem here. While several variations on the story of Quetzalcoatl's death have been preserved, one of the central elements is the identification of the heart soul as the planet Venus. Burr Cartwright Brundage gives this summary. The god's heart, like a great spark, flies up to become a new and splendid divinity, the morning star. Thus, a native source declares, Then the heart of Quetzalcoatl rose into heaven and, according to the elders, was transformed into the morning star and Quetzalcoatl was called the Lord of Dawn. We shall have more to say about this transformation. The fact at hand is that in their myths and rites, the Aztecs say the separated heart soul of Quetzalcoatl, following a period of darkened sky and cosmic upheaval, rose as the planet Venus. If the story has roots in any celestial occurrence, as explicitly claimed in the myths, the death of Quetzalcoatl must have involved a cosmic disaster of unprecedented scale for no mythical historical event left a deeper impression on Aztec thought and culture. Upon this traumatic episode, the Aztecs evolved their collective sense of cyclical time, including a calendar of world ages, the death of Quetzalcoatl, the onset of celestial confusion, and the transformation of his heart soul into the planet Venus meant nothing less than the end of one world age and the beginning of another.